Let's let people see what has happened. Showing people the goodness of God. In the ninth month, a healthy boy was born. That's me standing before you tomorrow. After seven years, don't tell me we don't persist. You are too late. You are too late. You should have come before I was born. <laughs> Miracles still exist. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I'm saying to you, even yourself, you shall survive by miracles. You will live by miracles. Because just like God anointed the hands of Paul, he will anoint your hands as well. But you shall do miracles in the name of Jesus. Whatever you touch, whatever you touch, shall be in the name of Jesus. I come to tell somebody today, don't worry how big your mountain is. We want to shout to it today, grace, grace, grace. We want to speak to it today and say, not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit of God. We want today to cancel every demonic curse that has stopped you to get to where God wants you to be. I want to cancel every demonic spirit that has followed you wherever you have been going. In the name of Jesus, every generational spirit, I break and cancel in the name of Jesus. And we release you today so you can serve the purposes of God. Every demonic spirit, every spirit of witchcraft, that is always stopped things happening in your life. I take authority and break that spirit in the name of Jesus. We release today the anointing of God over your hands. That you bless every work of your hands. That will give you the spirit of wisdom. That will make godly choices. We release healing in your life. That you shall not die without sickness. But you shall be healed in the name of Jesus. We release healing over your finances. In the name of Jesus. Healing over your finances. In the name of Jesus. That your finances shall be healed. In the name of Jesus. That you shall not have lack. But you shall have more than enough. In the name of Jesus. We release grace. To make you be what God wants you to be. We release today favor to take you to the highest where God wants you to be. We release abundance in your life in the name of Jesus. May never ever it be heard in your life that you did not have. May God give you a testimony like in David when he said, I was young, now I am old. I've never, never, ever seen the righteous begging bread or going hungry. It is 
is finished. I say it is finished in the name of Jesus. I say it is over in the name of Jesus. I say it is completed in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, in the word of God it says, Philippians 1 verse number 6, be confident of this thing. We are confident of this one thing. He who has begun the good work in you will finish it. I come to tell you, you will not die. That project will be finished. That project will be done. Your schooling will be completed. Your marriage will be done. In the name of Jesus. Your ministry is not going down. It's going up. In the name of Jesus. No matter who is against you. No matter who doesn't like you. Jehovah God is on your side. Shout hallelujah. Because Jesus. he delights in you. He delights in you. He delights in you. Tonight, God is saying, those hands, those hands, raise those hands, those hands, those hands, they are anointed. They are anointed. They are anointed. We cancel every spoken evil word over your life, over your hands in the name of Jesus. And in the name over your life, the Spirit of God, I release over your life the power to finish, the grace to start and to finish in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I release over your life and I decree in the name of Jesus, you shall complete the project. In the name of Jesus, it shall be completed. In the name of the Lord, no matter what the devil is saying, the Lord Oh, this is 